What's up boys, as you know, Season 4 just dropped the other day. There's been a lot of lag and FPS issues. I thought this would be a really good video idea, so I decided just to make a little list of what could actually help you get better FPS and less stutter. Alright guys, I'm not trying to waste your time, let's get on with the video. So first off, just search up on Google, download timer resolution. Make sure it's the actual legit website. I'll leave a link in the description. Go download that. Just follow all the things that it says to do. Once you've downloaded it, just go ahead and open it. Don't just normally open it. Right click on it and then click run as administrator. Make sure to do this before you start up Fortnite so all the changes are in effect. Another tip is to bring up the search bar and try to find edit power plan. Just go ahead and click on that one. Click the change advanced power settings. Go ahead and click this little tab and put it to the highest one possible. This will pretty much just make your PC push out more power, resulting in more FPS. Next up, go to your settings and find background apps. Go ahead and click on that. Once you're in there, just go ahead and turn it off. This will pretty much just prevent stuff from running in the background that you don't want. Unless you want a couple things running in the background that's really important to you, then I suggest turning that off because that actually is utilizing all those programs and wasting your PC power. While you're here, there's some tabs on the left hand side. You guys can actually go through each and every one of them and turn them off if you don't use them. Because again, all of these are being utilized. So why have them open if you're not even going to use them? I've already fiddled around with these, so all of mine are already off. But I'm pretty sure stock, they're all on. So just go ahead and turn as many of them off as you can. This should actually help because less programs are running in the background. So it'll make your PC more focused on the game that you're playing. Next up, go to the search bar and search up graphics settings. While you're in there, click browse and try and find the files for Fortnite. There should be three or four. Import all of them into the graphics settings. When you have them all imported, click options and choose the one that says high performance. Just go ahead and do that for every single one of them. Next up, open up settings again and search up game bar. Pretty much Game Bar is like a clipping thing for Microsoft. It's like a recording program, but built in. And a lot of people leave it on, which is actually wasting a lot of power. So just go ahead and turn all of the tabs off. This should give you a decent FPS boost. Now what you want to do is go to your PC and search up Control Panel. Go ahead and open that. Once you open that, under the Programs tab, it will have a little extension saying Uninstall or Change a Program. Go ahead and click on that. These are pretty much just all your programs and applications. I would suggest scrolling through them and deleting or uninstalling all the ones that you don't use. But yeah, anyways, make sure to scroll through all of them and just delete stuff. It'll clear up your drive and give you better utilization of Fortnite. For the next tip, make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. The way I'm doing it, you need a NVIDIA card, which is mainly an RTX or GTX card. For example, a RTX 2060. But I'm sure there's ways to do it if you have like a Radeon or RX card. For example, like a RX 570, which is really popular. But just for now, I'm going to be explaining the way to do it with a NVIDIA card. Okay, so what you want to do is just open up GeForce Experience. Once you're in GeForce Experience, go to the top left. At the top left, there should be a little drivers icon. Go ahead and click on that and make sure your drivers are updated. Trust me, this helps with FPS and this helps with the overall optimization of your graphics card. If it's not all the way up to date, just download it. It should have like an installation green button. Just go ahead and click that and just follow all the requirements of what you have to do to download it. It's pretty simple. Just let it do its thing and it will give you better FPS. Now moving on to in-game settings, you guys can actually lower your 3D resolution, which a lot of pros have been doing recently, usually all the way down to 90% 3D resolution. When I tried it out, the FPS boost was actually pretty decent and I was actually surprised. So just make sure to try it out for yourself and just see what works. The next tip is to go back into your settings and fiddle around with DirectX 12 and DirectX 11. Depending on which one you have enabled, it can actually affect your FPS drastically. It's recommended if you have an older, lower end PC you put DirectX 11 on but if you have a good CPU and good GPU you should definitely put that up to DirectX 12. Again just fiddle around with it and see what works for you. For the last tip just a reminder make sure to have replay mode off can actually give you like up to 30 FPS extra which when you think about it is actually a lot. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If this video helped you out in any way, a like and a sub is extremely appreciated. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. I replied to pretty much every single one of them. Also, if you have any ideas of what I should do next, make sure to leave a comment. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.